going on everybody? Sport the 3 here bringing you another cool action figure review. Today we have NECA's Dawn of the Planet of the Apes movie toys. This is Caesar. Look at this guy, huh? Looks fantastic sitting in his plastic tomb. Got a few accessories going on. Some nice box art. Totally digging that. On the back here you got a couple of the others from the wave. You have Koba and Maurice. And we got those coming right up after Caesar's review. So let's get him open. Here's Caesar out of his packaging. And I gotta say... Looking quite nice, kind of dig it. So you got a couple of extra hands here and you get the spear which comes in two pieces and you have to put it together. Mine doesn't go all the way in so I'm gonna to have to probably, you know, probably fit that in, maybe carve that down a little bit. And it is notched, so there is a little notch in there and it, it does slide into a little groove. And I think it's probably just a little too much paint apps on there, but it looks really nice. It's kind of realistic looking. It looks just like real bone, kind of, kind of cool. Nice little accessory there for him. Or you can take it apart and give them two, make them, Make them look even awesomer. <laughs> yes, I said awesomer, because I can. And here are the two hands. Check it out. They look very realistic, very fleshy, if you will, veiny, very veiny. And what's cool about these is they're kind of soft plastic, so you can bend them out, fit the spears in there, and what have you, piece of cake. And all you have to do, fit them on. Caesar here is just pull the hand off, just like that. You see the little ball joint in there? Get the proper hand, and just like so, get it on there, and there you go. Very cool stuff. Look at that mug, oh man, just fantastic detail. Wow, I can't wait to see this movie. Give me a thumbs up if you absolutely cannot wait to see this movie, it's gonna be epic, right? Look at the detail they put in here, all the, the paint and everything, wow. Just fantastic. Even down the feet here. You can put like little hair details on the toesies, man. That's really cool. Man, just fascinated with NECA's work. Outstanding. More articulation, he's got a bunch of it. Check it out. It's got a ball joint in the head right through here. So you can pose that all sorts of ways up and down here at the shoulder. That's about as far as it goes though. You don't want to force it and you can rotate that all the way around. A bend at the elbow and you can rotate that little ball joint in the hand. And he's got a ball joint up in his guts right here. So you got some ab crunching going on. And then down through here at the leg, Standard articulation, you can see the little joint in there, you can spin that, move it up and down, rotate it. At the knee, slight bend here, it is hindered a little bit the way it's molded, but you can spin that. And little ball joints in the feetsies, look at that. And you can rotate them all the way around, very cool stuff, and a hole for a stand if you need it. Quick size comparison for you guys, here he is with He-Man! <laughs> yeah, so Caesar stands, depending on how you pose him, he stands approximately six inches tall. So there you have it everybody, NECA's Dawn of the Planet of the Apes Series 1 movie action figure, Caesar. Just an awesome little toy. Oh man, Naked is knocked out of the park again with this one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. See you next time.